Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Greybeard Garage. My name is Matt, and today we're gonna work on our pallet chicken coop. So we're gonna put these pallets together and um, we're gonna build ourselves a little chicken coop out here. And then after that, we're gonna build a little chicken run. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get started on that now. And I will explain how it's going to work. And I'll take the camera off the tripod here and give you a quick walk around on how we're gonna get this accomplished today. All right, guys. Hang in there, let's get this thing going. All right, so the general thought process behind this is that we're gonna use these two pallets as our base here. And I'm gonna use either a two by four or a one by four to join them together. And then what we'll do is we'll flip them over and that'll give us our deck for the bottom of the, the uh, coop. And these pallets are all the same dimensions. So we'll use a pallet here in the back and that will make our back wall here and then we'll use one over here on this side and that'll be our side wall and then we'll just do the same thing here with the back and the side and then the front will be the front doors will be pallets also because all these are the same dimensions it makes it very easy there's very little cutting involved and we'll go ahead and we'll get started on that now and then we'll I'm gonna do these first, we'll join these together, and I'll put my legs on, and then I'll flip it over, and then we'll work on our walls, and we'll work on our, our sides, and then the doors. And we'll probably end up building a header uh, to go across the front where the doors will be, and then we'll put our roofing trusses on there. All right, so I'm gonna put this back up on our tripod, and we're gonna get going. All right, so what I found is I found some one by four. So move these two by fours out of the way. We're gonna take these, we're gonna stick them in here, right here, and we're gonna join these two pounds together. And we're gonna do that everywhere. Like this, and like this. And we're gonna go ahead and screw those together, and that'll give us a good base uh, for our chicken coop. So I'm going to go ahead and get my drill, and then we're going to draw all this together. All right, guys. So here's what we're using today for our screws. One and a quarter inch. They're going to go right in here. We'll get these locked in. And uh, then we'll, flip, we'll put our feet on, and then we'll flip these over, and then we'll continue on from there. So we'll go ahead and we'll get these, these put in. So, just to let you know, I didn't cut these one by four to any certain length. It's all scrap wood, so I don't really care how much we use of it. So, like I said, we're just going to go ahead and get these screwed in, and that will give us a secure base to build on from there. So, we'll go ahead and get these screwed in. Moving on down the line. That's one side. We'll move over here and get this side done. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the rest of these without recording the whole thing because it's kind of repetitive. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and then we'll, uh, we'll come back when we do the legs. All right, so now you can see here that we've got our braces in there 
both sides of the center and this side. So now I've got some uh, used four by fours. I'm gonna get those and measure them up and cut everything to length. And then we'll attach uh, one in each corner here. So one here, one here, and then we'll do one here and one here. And we might do one in the center just for a little extra support. All right, so I'm gonna go grab those and then we'll get those cut down to length. So I've grabbed a couple of the four by fours. It's just kind of an example of what I'm looking to do. And so I'm gonna screw these in from the top side. So I'm gonna have to flip this up on its side and I'm probably gonna have uh, Mrs. Graybeard Garage come out here and give me a hand just getting these done. Now these, they're tall, but what my thought is is that I may do chicken wire all the way around the bottom of this thing and then that way it gives them a little run underneath it so and then as you can see there's like there's still nails here that I need to, to cut out or bang out so I'm gonna get to work on that bang those nails out that's kind of pretty boring stuff so I don't think you guys need to see that I'll spare you the uh, spare you the boredom on that one but what I want to do is take these, right? Because this is all just rough saw and lumber. And I want to trim these down, get a nice flat surface so that when we uh, mount them to the boards, they're flush. And then when we flip it over, they'll all be flush on the bottom. And I think what I'm going to do is use a couple pavers to sit these on so they're not sitting in the dirt and they won't, they won't rot nearly as fast. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get to uh, knocking out some nails and... Um, We'll be back when we go ahead and get these things fastened in. Okay, so I've got these four by fours cut down and I got them cleaned up so they should be flush now. And I put a two by, I changed the way we're gonna do this. I put a two by four here on the ground or on the bottom of it. And then we're gonna screw in from the back side over here with a six inch screw. And that should fasten these in nice and tight. And then we'll throw a diagonal support beam uh, from here down over to there. And that should give us plenty of support on the legs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the first two legs attached and we'll run the, the camera for that and then we'll move on to the next ones. Okay, so you can see I just kind of started the screw a little bit and uh, now we're gonna go ahead and finish running it home. nice and stable so like I said now we'll we'll run a diagonal down into here and that should give us a nice stable platform and if we have to we'll run you know one on this side down also but I'm gonna do the other side and um, we'll move on to the lat the other uh, end and I'm not gonna show you every single corner because it's kind of the same thing over and over again I don't want to bore you with the uh, with that the whole time. So we'll get this going and then when we do the, the uh, diagonal supports, we'll, we'll bring you back for that. All right guys, so what I did is I cut this diagonal here, this board for a brace, and uh, I'll show you where that's gonna go over here. Just like this, All right? And that should brace us up real good on the end and then there's a six inch screw that goes from here through to that board so i think that should get us where we need to be as far as support and uh like i said if i need more we'll just add another cross member you know from here you know down that way maybe but i don't think we're going to need to do that so i'm going to go ahead and cut all these all these members here all these braces, I'm gonna go ahead and cut all four of those now. And uh, I'll show you when we go ahead and screw those in. All right guys, so here we go. We've got our four corners in place now. And um, we're gonna go ahead and start doing our diagonal bracing. So I kind of did a couple pilot holes. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, but anyway, I did do a couple pilot holes in those boards. And I'm gonna do Member cross members on the inside as well. 
I was thinking about that because when it comes time to flip it over, when it comes time to flip it over, I want to have supports here. Otherwise, I'm afraid it'll snap the legs off. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get all these drilled in or screwed in. And uh, we'll take you on board for that. All right, so like I said, I did do a couple of pilot holes in here. And it's getting kind of late in the afternoon, so we're catching some shadows. But I'll try and get you guys set up to where you can see it maybe. So this is our first one here. Okay, there's one in there. Let me do this one up here. I'm gonna put one more in there. Same to the other side as well. So we'll go ahead and move the camera over there. Let's see if we can get that set up. There we go. The same thing here, we'll just repeat that. And we'll repeat that around all the corners again. And then we'll do our inside braces as well. Okay, so now you can see we have our braces on the inside on both ends, right? And we have our braces on the, the long side as well on both ends. So what we're gonna do now is flip this thing over and this will probably be where I stop for today, once I get it flipped over. And we'll show you what it looks like once it's flipped. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get this thing flipped by myself. This thing's gonna be pretty heavy, I'm sure. So, yeah, it's heavy. Woo! All right, so, now, I just gotta get it on its feet. I'm gonna have to probably drag it towards me and then flip it. Get this out of the way. Sun spare tire. Does a lot of good when it's sitting in the side yard. Alright, so now I'm going to attempt to flip this thing. Okay. There's no place good to grab it. All right, guys, so now I've got the coop standing up and uh, I needed some assistance, so I didn't really want to embarrass myself. <laughs> so here it is, and it's tall. It's probably 40, 44, 45 inches tall to the top of the deck. So what the idea is now is we're gonna use these other pallets to do the sides in the back. And then here on the front, we're gonna use the pallets for the doors. And those will swing open all the way. And then instead of having a huge long uh, chicken run, you know, out on one end of it, I wanted it a little taller so they could actually just have their run underneath. So we'll end up cutting out some slats here and then we'll run their little ladder down 
and then they can come in and out of the coop at their leisure and they can feed down below you know and we can throw hay down there for them or whatever so that's kind of our plan uh with that coop <laughs> 